Bro, is this movie black and white? Okay, justice is the firmest pillar of good. What year did this movie come out, bro? 1957. Okay, well, officially, oldest movie. If there's a reasonable doubt in your minds as to the guilt of the accused, a reasonable doubt, then you must bring me a verdict of not guilty. The, However, the judge sounds incredibly bored. There's no reasonable doubt, then you must. You're faced with a grave responsibility. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Twelve the angry men. The are excused. Nineteen fifty-seven. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh man! Listen, I don't even know if he did it. All right. I'm just going to be honest here. I'm looking at the, the the age of this movie here. All right. And if this is the person here, I'm not sure that he did it. Before we even find out what actually happened, apparently someone got deleted. Right. Um, but but uh, I feel bad for him, bro. Um, I'm not sure that's that's exactly a jury of your peers in 1957. But, yo, good luck, bro. Good luck. You about to get railroaded, boy. You about to get railroaded. Yeah, I smell that. DP. Boris Kufman. Okay. I mean for, for black and white, bro. I think it's lit I think it's lit very well. I mean it's obviously lit very harshly. I mean obviously. Hmm. Like due to the age, obviously, but I think it overall it's lit, it's lit well. Okay, so we're definitely noticing that it's most likely a very hot day. Uh, there, uh, they all seem to be most likely. Well, a couple of them seem to be perspiring. Um, he runs straight towards the fan. Another guy's doing this. It's probably going to make him angrier. Are they angry because it's hot? If you ask me, I'd slap those tough kids down before they start any trouble. There was a lot of time and money. And yeah, his attitude is the exact attitude I, I basically expected. Uh, I expect them all to basically share that same uh, overall sentiment based off of, again, the era. It's an entitled. It's a system. Gee, I don't know. I, uh, well, I guess so. And guys, what I want to point out really quickly, um, I want to give absolute props and, and probably a couple of like heavy hand claps, guys, uh, to a couple of departments here. Uh, mainly the person who's filming this, the person who edited, uh, which I'm guessing didn't require much editing because we've basically seen ever since they've come into this room, it's been one singular shot. Uh, there are there have been zero mess ups or mistakes with any of the actors at all. Uh, everything has basically been flawlessly delivered. Uh, if this is how this is going to go, then this is probably going to be <laughs> amazing to encounter. Um, like seriously, one singular shot so far. I'm waiting for the editor to, to basically work, bro. Because so far, he's only had to to work. Like one time, guys, right? When they switched um, the scene from the judge to this room, it's only been like, bro, like maybe three, two cuts of scenes so far, guys. That's crazy for a movie. And definitely a testament to the actual actors that are uh, portraying each and, each and every one of these characters. Well, I uh, thought we'd sit in order, you know, by jury numbers of one, two, three, four, five, so on around the table. If that's okay with you, gentlemen. Sure. What's the difference? Guys, I also think it's uh, pretty much masterful uh how they're delivering like each character's uh like specific traits right um like scenarios like this uh, have always been interesting to me i i almost uh served on a uh, a jury case um but i was declined right because apparently i didn't fit into what the uh, the other lawyers uh, thought processes should be i i generally don't have for example um let me give you a quick story you guys can fast forward if you need but um in terms of why I was declined, it was exclusively because when they asked the question, so who has an issue with the fact that uh, there are multiple languages spoken in the United States of America? I was like, oh, I, don't, I, I don't care. 
right? I, I truthfully don't care what I hear of foreign languages. I, I don't. I've been around the world enough to, to know that the world speaks many languages, right? Uh, and if someone is having a hard time speaking a language, I mean, uh, you give them time to be able to attempt to convey their message. I mean, bro, we're all humans, right? I would expect at least. Hopefully that's the opinion, but uh, probably not. Who knows, right? Um, but the thing is, that's my opinion. And they were like, oh, nope, can't have you on there. I was like, bro, who, who are you trying to charge? <laughs> like, you're trying to railroad whatever guy you're, you're trying to, you know, stack the deck against, guys. Right? You exclusively don't want people that have the ability to think critically. You want people who are sheep. I get that. Right? Now, I'm the wild card. Why would you want me in that room? <laughs> don't do that and guess what i was never called for jury duty again never <sighs> but all right where do we sit here we're definitely we're definitely slowly getting to know all of them though that i think that's uh great how they're delivering it okay. he's 18 years old well that's old enough he he stabbed his own father four inches into the chest they proved it a no. dozen different ways in court. Would you like me to list them for you? Yeah. No. Please. F please. Because I'm going to give you my opinion. Then what do you want? I'm here too now. I want to talk. I want to ask you something. Do you believe his story? Yeah, my, my main concern here is that why do they instantly think that? Other than the fact that it's 1957 and, you know, he's another. Right? Uh, I want to know why you think that. I want, to, I want to let me understand completely and then I will say, you know what? That makes sense. Or you're an idiot. One of these two things are going to be said. All right. I don't know. He's had a, he's had a pretty miserable 18 years. I, I just think we owe him a few words. That's all. Ooh. Um, yeah. Okay. So it sounds like he's definitely had a really tough life. Uh, but here's the thing here. Does that, st would that still excuse him from, um, from, from what he allegedly did the guys? I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't like your your traumas have nothing to do with what you do to other people. I'm sorry, that's not a valid excuse. I I absolutely do not accept that. All right, your traumas are your traumas. You deal with them. Right. Um, but here's the thing: if he did do it, though, then we're having we're having a worthless conversation. Right. Um, but if he didn't, then absolutely, at the very least, an hour is worth. Um, you know, having some type of dialogue regarding it, right? I don't think you were born with a monopoly on the truth. I think certain things should be pointed out to this man. Come on, this isn't Sunday. We What's happening here? Come on, we have a job to do now. Let's do it. Rice pops. It's a product I work on at the agency. I don't care. Hey, but, uh, he's wrong and we're right. Now, maybe if we each took a couple of minutes just to... Well, it was just a quick idea. No, no, no. To prove your biases? Because that's what you're going to end up doing. Like, the more you speak... Listen, when that other guy decided to stand up and the older guy was like, bro, you sound ignorant, right? Each one of these individuals are just going to instantly, like an onion, right, have, have their layers pulled back, peeled back. And we're going to now see why they chose these reasons, chose to just instantly, you know, say that he's guilty without even talking, right? Um, but I mean, if that's the case, then it'd be great to, to actually see this happening. That's a good one. I mean, somebody saw him do it. Okay. Uh, here's what I think, and I have no okay. personal feelings about this. I just want to talk. So, to so there's a witness. Um, all right. Facts. You're a pretty smart fellow, aren't you? No, okay, no, no. gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. Come on, sit down. Sit down. What's he so wise about? I'm telling okay, you. Okay, now, come on. Now, we're not going to get anywhere <laughs> fighting. I mean, bro, eyewitness testimony is sometimes very troubling. Whose turn is it next? Oh, um, his. You got any kids? Three. I got one. 22 years old. Bro, I don't need to see a kid. I said, I'm going to make a man out of you if I have to break you in two trying. But basically what he's saying here is that um, he's completely fine basically brutalizing his son until his son is uh, basically a man in his eyes, right? But the son is not allowed to rebel, basically, right? Um, 
because if we follow what's happening here, it sounds like he was be absolutely being abused, right? To the point where he couldn't take it anymore. And he basically, you know, punctured his father uh, because of the level of abuse. So basically the son could have most likely, the, his son uh, most likely could have done the same exact thing to him, basically. Basically. And I made a man out of him. It's no secret children from slum backgrounds are potential menaces to society. Wow. I mean, I mean, here's the problem. He's not specifically wrong, right? But you know, some things are just like hard to say, right? Uh, so, and also some things are very hard to, you know, for, for other people to understand some of these things, right? But yeah, you know, poverty occasionally has the ability to bring you know, certain elements of criminality. Why? Because if you're starving, you're going to do whatever is needed to feed your family, right? And so, yeah, criminality kind of a lot of the times is bred, uh, specifically violent crimes or a lot of the times, right? Um, and property crimes are bred in areas like this. Um, but does that specifically mean that every single person is going to choose that life? No, it's, it's definitely the minority. Even in situations like that, Growing up in situations like that is still the minority. It's not the majority, bro. Right? But all right. The kids who crawl out of these places are real trash. I don't want any part of them, I'm telling you. Bro, what? There was something oh, come on, fella. He didn't mean you. Let's not be so sensitive. <laughs> bro, listen. This is exactly the a, an amazing representation of how um, some things are, let's say. Right? They are literally, they're hearing every bit of filth this man is saying, right? Every bit of it. And these these guys are like, he didn't mean it like that. It's okay. Ignore it. Bro, stop gaslighting. This sensitivity. I mean, supposing they're wrong. What's the point of having witnesses at all? Could they be wrong? They could be very wrong. People sat on the stand under oath. They're only people. People make mistakes. Could they yep. be wrong? Like specifically, if this was happening like months and months and months after the actual incident, yeah, bro. Now, what happened to the switch knife? He claims that it fell through a hole in his pocket on the way to the movie sometime between eleven thirty and uh, three ten. That small little interruption means a lot. Very slightly. Here. He claims that he went to a movie at about eleven thirty, returning home at three ten to find his father dead and himself arrested. And he also Here. claims that the two detectives arrested him, threw him down a half a flight of stairs. So what makes you think that the majority of this could be true? Like, if they see something like this, the detectives, for example, right? Uh, then they see him. Do they really care who did it? They're just gonna pick the first person. They, it's nineteen fifty seven, bro. They don't care. Now what happened? Maybe there are ten knives like that. So what? Maybe there are. But what does it mean? It's if not I unique. Know, knife like it. What's that? The discovery of the age or something? You mean you're asking us to believe that somebody else did the stabbing with exactly the same kind of knife? The odds are a million to one. It's possible. Not a million to one if he just walks in with it. But not very probable. Okay, fellas. It's possible, like right? No it's not probable. All over the place. There are eleven votes for Gilly. I won't stand alone. We'll take in a guilty verdict to the judge right now. But if anyone votes not guilty, we stay here and talk it out. Oh. No, that's it. If you want to try it, I'm ready. All right, let's do it the hard way. Guys, this is super strong. This is super strong. Right? Because obviously by, by voting in secret now, right? Um, he's the only person that is willing to be ostracized, right? Um, then all of these guys, some of these guys are just like, eh, guilty. Why? Because their neighbor said it, right? Uh, that's the power of like group thought. This is why individuality seems to be more impressive to me specifically, generally, right? Um, but group think is generally toxic, right? Yeah, yeah that sounds fair. We wanna... so, so we're definitely going to get a not, another not guilty if it's in secret. Great. Guilty. 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 I also like the way that they're handling suspense. Guilty. Guilty. 
Guilty. The last one has to be not guilty. Second to last. Not guilty. Boy, how do you like that? It's him. It's him. Oh, another chance. Oh, now just wait a minute. Listen, you can't talk to me uh, like that. No, who do you think you are? Down, Trash. Bro, there are like two people sitting at this table that are absolute garbage. He is one of them. Oh, what is he excited about? We're trying to put a guilty man in the chair where he belongs. So you, you, you are the one that injects him or pulls down that the, the, the electricity thing, bro. All right. You do that. He starts telling us fairy tales and we're listening. He didn't change his vote. I did. Yeah, that's the vibe. Oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because the thing about it, the guy, the, the guy that's literally garbage, sitting to his his left, right, the other garbage guy, um, he blatantly called him ignorant. Like, listen to what you're saying. You're you're a fool. What do you do? I'm a watchmaker. Oh, really? Well, I imagine the finest watchmakers in the world come from Europe, huh? No. Well, anyway, I was telling you. Anyway, <laughs> no. We reach a point like this. I'm telling you about. Oh, what are you wasting our time for? Why don't you donate what is that? to cause and maybe it'll make you feel better. This kid is guilty, pal. Is that like like a like a real towel? And like everyone would just share that, that disgusting towel? Is that what that is? I hope not. I hope that's not that. Is it looks like it. It's as plain as the nose on your face. She looked right in the open window and saw the boy stab his father. Now I mean isn't that enough for you? No, it isn't. Boy, how do you like this guy, huh? It's like talking to a dead phone. She's like the more I hear it, again, you know, the more I hear it, I, he may be, he may be guilty, guys. Right? I mean, yeah, I mean, if this happened above me, and my windows open, that windows open, and I hear something like that, and then someone else across the street sees inside the window, mm, guys. Then she saw the killing. Through. You can't hear yourself think. Well, you get to the point. I will not. Just a minute. Let's take two pieces of testimony and try to put them together. How could you hear that and that? Okay, and also how could you see through that going so fast? Oh. First, would have had to hear the boy make this statement with the yell roaring past his nose. It's not possible he could have heard it. Said, oh no. Do you think he could have heard it? He said he yelled at the top of his voice. That's good enough for me. Even if he heard something, he still couldn't have identified the voice with the yell roaring by. Right. Oh, talking about a matter of seconds, nobody can be that accurate. Well, I think testimony that could put a boy into the electric chair should be that accurate. Absolutely. Oh, guys, they're making, everyone's making such good points. I don't think he could have heard it. He didn't hurt. I mean, with all that L noise. Oh, what are you people There goes the doubt. That's the reason he couldn't have heard. Here goes the Why doubt. Why did he lie? What's he got to gain? Guy talks like that to an old man really ought to get stepped on, you know? Yup. You ought to have more respect, mister. He has none, but yet begging for respect from his son. Bro, you deserve no respect. You say stuff like that to him again, I'm gonna lay you out. In what, in what way, exactly? Oh. He wouldn't really lie, but perhaps he made himself believe he heard those words and recognized the boy's face. Well, that's the most fantastic story I've ever heard. How can you make up a thing like that? What do you know about it? He's that man. Not like, not exactly him, but he's, what else in his life is valuable? Oh, uh, mm. does anybody want a cough drop? No. This phrase, how many times have all of us used it? Probably thousands. I could kill you for that, darling. Junior, you do that? Darling? You would say that to your wife? <laughs> I don't know if I, I can... I can pretty much guarantee you. All right? I've been married to my wife. I've been with my wife since, like, 2015. All right? Um, I have never said that. Darling? Well, no, not just the word darling. I've never said that. that. That doesn't happen, right? But I've never told my wife, I can I can absolutely take your life right now. Who says that? I mean, obviously, you know, you know, this is dated slightly. At all. What I'm are you sure. talking about? Supposing he really did hear it. This phrase, how many times have all of us used it? Probably thousands. I could kill you for that, darling. Bro. Junior, you do that once more and I'm going to kill you. Get in there, Rocky. And you said it to your kid? Oh, my. 
Listen, I've never, I don't think I've, I've never said this to anyone. All right. I'm trying to go back into my, my, the catalog inside my head here, guys. I just, words mean things, right? Um, like I'm so literal generally that if I say that, I kind of mean that generally, right? Uh, when it comes to that, I'm not saying, I'm not going to tell someone I'm going to take their life, bro. I'm going to do that. That's, a, that's literally a threat. I say it every day. That doesn't mean we're really... I don't think so. He's much too bright for that. Bright? He's a common ignorant slob. He don't even speak good English. He does He don't even speak good English. <laughs> oh, this is exactly how these people are. Like, the people who generally keep these type of mentalities are the most ridiculous to actually have any type of conversation with. It's... it's it's like, bro, I, be, I get it. I get it. You don't like whatever you, you don't like currently, right? I, I get it. I get it. But like, you do understand that like, like literacy rates, like for your region, wherever you are, generally correlate with like absolute idiots. And I mean like, like idiot personas and, and like thought processes, right? So it makes all the sense in the world that he would deliver Calling someone an idiot while sounding like that. Shout out a thing like, for crying out loud, your kid's own lawyer knew he didn't stand a chance. Right from the beginning, his own lawyer knew it. You could see it. A court-appointed lawyer, I'm guessing, um, that that generally comes from the same overall system that uh, threw him down the stairs, right? Boy, oh boy, I'm telling you. He would have had to be calm enough to see to it that there were no fingerprints left on the knife. Now, where did this panic start and where did it end? Ooh, he's going to flip him, him, this one here. He's asking all the right questions. But guilty, what side are you? I think there's enough doubt that we can wonder whether he was there at all during the time the killing took place. What do you mean, Del? What are you talking about? He was just coming back home at the end of the day, and he saw this. But didn't the old man see him running out of him down? Oh, you keep saying that. Maybe what we need is a little yelling in here. These guys keep going off every which way. Bro, sit down. You're scaring literally no one with this aggression. Okay, just sit down and be calm. All right, just sit down. Did hear this? What about this, Mr. Reasonable Doubt? That's not the knife. Don't you remember? Oh, Brit. The reliability of a witness, bro. This, this is absolutely genius. Okay, um, I've never seen anything like this before. I never thought that I would be like completely fine watching one scene unfold for uh, like the entirety of a film. I never thought that this would be interesting or intriguing, guys. This conversation is a, is, is a great one. And the way that they are delivering each singular point is absolutely breathtaking, right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Did your man say he ran to the door? Ran, walked, what's the difference? He got on, did he? I mean, he got there, didn't no, he? No, well, wait a second. Well, he said he ran, at least I think he did. Now, look, I don't remember what he said, but I don't see how he could have run to the door. He said what? he w Weren't you all there for it? You don't remember things? That's wild. Interesting how that happens. Went from his bedroom to the front door. Now, is Mr. Foreman, I'd like to see a diagram of the apartment. Well, look, why don't we just have him run a trial? Oh, no. How come you're the only one in this room who wants to see exhibits all the time? Yeah, because, bro, how can, you have, how can the woman across have seen it? How could she have, right? You, bro, you better hope that this happened in that front room with, with the window was visible. Because if, if she's trying to say that this happened in the back, that doesn't make any sense. I see this one too. So yeah, the diagram immediately. Bring it right now. And if it doesn't make any sense, there are going to be more people that are going to flip. I'd like to stop wasting time. What are you trying to destroy? He said 15. How does he know how long 15 seconds? Okay, so the diagram like of the that. guy's apartment. 15 seconds. He was very positive about it. He was an old man. Half the time he was confused. How could he be positive about anything? Oh, what did you just say? <laughs> Bro, what did you just say? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now what? Now what? I don't see what you're going to prove here. The man said he's... Brother, I've seen all kinds of dishonesty in my day, but this little display takes the cake. You all come in here with your hearts bleeding all over the floor. Bro, that's valid, though. It absolutely. Floor is. about slum kids and injustice. You listen to some fairy tales, suddenly you start getting through to some of these old ladies. Well, you're not getting through to me. I've had enough. Oh, I believe it. I'm, like you're, So you're absolutely bigoted. And, and when I say the term bigoted, I mean... Uh, it could be, you can you call it a double entendre, sure, but what I mean is that someone who is completely steadfast in their beliefs, they're, they're completely immovable, right, in their belief system. Um, and uh, yeah, 
he's a bigot, bro. He, he's you can't move him. Um, but but obviously he's gonna have to be moved because then this film would not make any sense, right? Um, I do obviously believe that uh, every single person in this room is probably gonna flip to not guilty at some point. Um, yeah, mandatory. So. As of right now, he's acting as if he is bigoted, but he will be able to be moved from his uh, standpoint. What's the matter with you guys? Slip through our fingers. Are you his executioner? What? I'm one of them. Oh, well, yeah. Perhaps you'd like to pull the switch. For this kid, you bet I would. I feel so. Why, why are you taking so personal? Right? I mean, I get it, though. I, I do think that uh, every single person in the jury is responsible for um, flipping the switch. Right? Uh, that's just a fact of things here. Um, but either way. Sorry for you. What? You don't really mean you'll kill me, do you? <laughs> you are an idiot. What are you looking at? An idiot. You just proved every single point that you were trying not to make the entire time. Like you're super consistent with your idiocy. Beg pardon. What are you so polite about? For the same reason you're not. It's the way it was brought up. Mm. It's fighting. That's heavy. That's not why we are here. Six to six. I'm telling you, some of you people in here must be out of your minds. A kid like that. I don't think like the what? kind of boy he is has anything to do with it. The facts are supposed to determine the case. Don't give me that. I'm so yep. tired of facts. You can twist them any way you like. You know what I mean? That's exactly the point this gentleman has. Bro, this is, this speaks loud. Right? Like, generally, looking at a movie like this, I would think that the ideologies and just how things are moving should be extremely ancient, right? Um, but in fact, we're still going through the same, we're still dealing with the same type of people right now. These people won't just go away, <laughs> guys. Why, why do they exist in this rate, guys? I don't understand. Right? We're still dealing with these with this with this mentality. So so a person like this had kids and taught the kids the same exact uh, you know ridiculousness and it was comfortable with it. Right? Guys, you got everyone has to do better, bro. That's it. Do better. But all right. It has anything to do with it. Yeah, well, good luck. Oh, come on. You're like everybody else. You think too much, you get mixed up. Know what I mean? Yeah, thinking is bad, bro. You're right. Facts? Ugh. That's nasty. <laughs> now, listen, I don't think you ever... Well, they're picking this part of the, the uh, this case apart better than the lawyers did. Maybe you don't fully understand the term reasonable doubt. What do you mean, I don't understand? Well, how do you like this guy? Mm. I'm telling you, they're all alike. They come over here running for their life, and before they can take a deep breath, they're telling us how to run the show, huh? <sighs> what? <laughs> Guys. Um, okay, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. It is absolutely plausible that a couple of these absolute imbeciles, right, have no idea what reasonable doubt even means. It's plausible. Uh, and also the statement that he just made. <sighs> the boy couldn't remember the names of the movies he saw because he wasn't there that night. According to the police testimony in court, the boy was questioned by the detectives in the kitchen of his apartment while the body of his father was lying on the floor in the bedroom. Do you think you could remember details under those circumstances? Oh, under great no. Stress? Under great emotional stress. Here. And they've been over it and over it. Well, I know they did, but I don't go along with it. Now, the boy was five feet, seven inches tall. Okay. His father was six, two. That's a difference of seven inches. Listen, I, <laughs> if I, what is happening, guys? Right? Like, you do understand that if you would have, like, given all of this information... To me, the the viewer specifically, within the first ten minutes, I would have said, like, without a doubt, not guilty. It's a very awkward thing to stab down into the chest of someone who's more than half a foot taller than you are. Give me that. True. I'll give you a demonstration. I changed my vote to not guilty. You what? You heard me. I didn't ain't expect had that. Enough. What do you mean you've had enough? That's no answer. <laughs> hey, listen, you. What kind of a man are you? 
He only cares about himself. He's excessively selfish. The only reason why he voted guilty is because he knew guilty was going to win the room. Uh, he wanted to get to a baseball game. All those voting guilty? Raise your hand. One, two, three. Well, the vote's nine to three in favor of... I'm actually not surprised here, all right? So you have someone who is excessively affluent coming from some, like, the upper crust of society uh, that basically just looks down on anyone who has who makes less money than he, right? And then you have the two absolute imbeciles, right? The two garbage men, basically. Basically. Well, nobody's blaming them for it. That's the way they are, by nature. You know what I mean? Violent! <laughs> by nature! <laughs> You guys, someone asked me, you know, why don't you watch like old movies? And I mean like movies that are, that come from like this era of, of like the United States of America. And the reason why is because when I think it like forever, right? Firstly, it's hard for me to watch black and white movies, um, but not this one, which I find absolutely intriguing, right? But secondly, I think, or maybe I'm just stereotyping it, guys. I'm telling you, it could be that, right? I could be acting like him slightly, right? But this is what I expect from these movies. Just like 100%. Nothing more than absolute, absolute ignorance. Guys. That's it. That's all I expect. Where are you going? Listen to me. They're no good. There's not a one of them who's any good. Bro. Bro, you're saying all of the things that you're supposed to not say out loud, but you are. Notice how everyone now has your back turned. Listen, think about it. The other absolute imbecile has is like, bro, you're you're saying all the things you shouldn't. Nah, we can't do that, right? And so everyone is now turning their back on you, bro. Do you know what this means? I mean, what what's happening in here? What do you think I'm is happening? Decent. You can't understand how you three are still so sure. Maybe you can tell us. I'll try. Okay. You've made some excellent points, but I still believe the boy is guilty of murder, and I have two reasons. Okay. One, as far as I can see it, this is unshakable testimony. Well, that's the whole... I mean... It's... Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. The only thing that we haven't heard any type of, like, argument on is that... Um, is that thing, is that the one that is basically rock solid? I'm sure someone is about to absolutely obliterate it, right? Uh, cause based off of how things have been flowing in the film, right? But everything else, there are issues, bro. Okay, so Reasonable doubt is the reality here. What do you think? Why were you rubbing your nose like that? Like metal framed glasses, they have those plastic things. I'm guessing it had something to do with that, right? That's why I don't wear metal framed glasses. I hate that thing. The size of your nose. I hadn't noticed that before. That must be annoying. It is very. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. What if the old woman, right, that saw this, uh, she wore glasses? Let's say that. What if she wore glasses? And when she said that she looked across, she didn't really have, she didn't have her glasses on. Is that where we're going with this? Is? It has to be where, we're, where, we, where we are being led. Very annoying. Oh, the woman who testified that she saw the killing had those <laughs> same marks on the sides of her nose. Uh-oh. Uh now they finished. Now she had those marks. I saw them. But so what? What do you think that means? Listen, that I'm means she wears glasses. Oh, come on, forget it. Come on. Could those marks be made by anything other than high glasses? No. No, they couldn't. I didn't see any more. Uh-oh. And she's lying down in bed. Why would she have her glasses on, bro? Right? And it's late at night. She's probably sleeping. Right? So, so she woke up in the middle of the night. The L train is passing by. She looks through. She can't see, bro. So all she saw was shapes. Are you sure it was the son? The 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 boy? Or you thought it was the, you thought it was him because you're used to seeing him in that room. Which one is I it? I did. Uh oh. Strange, but I didn't think. You ever see a woman who had to wear glasses and didn't want to because she thinks they spoil her looks? Oh, okay. a lot. She, do you wear glasses when you go to bed? Nope. No, I don't. Mm -mm. No one wears eyeglasses to bed. It's logical to assume that she wasn't wearing them when she was in bed. Tossing and this. You can't send someone off to die on evidence like that. Oh, don't mm. give me that. Don't you think the woman might have made a mistake? No. 
It's not possible. <laughs> what? No, it's not possible. Oh, you hate him. You? Nah, I, this is done. Nah, no, we're done. We're done here now. We're, right. Not guilty. Well, what about all the other evidence? What about all that stuff? The, what? The, the knife, what? The, the whole business. Didn't we just have this whole conversation, bro? You just don't like him. Right? When he, when he called you a sadist, bro, you just want to see him fry. Well, you said we could throw out all the other evidence. You did. Those were your words. It's your right. <laughs> well, what do you want? I say he's guilty. Okay, prove it. The old man saw him right there on the stairs. What's the difference how many seconds it was? It matters. How do you know she didn't have him on? This woman testified in open court. Uh, bro, I've never worn glasses in a bed a single day of my life, bro. My wife does occasionally um, while she's reading. That could be something plausible, though. Um, but other than that? Well? Nah, bro. Say you, something. You're just holding on. Not guilty. Well, that's that then, isn't it? Not guilty. No words were even needed for this, bro. Well played. Well played, bro. And obviously for this movie to be perfect, we cannot find out if he was actually innocent or guilty. Um, in order for it to end like correctly, okay, they need to leave us hanging. So there could be a conversation about it. Bro. <laughs> well played very well played all right the end like after watching this and then looking over here now i think i think my my colors are too saturated <laughs> so i don't know i can't explain it nothing in me would have said that this film would have been as good as it it was i think this is um, you know, the, the word masterpiece gets thrown around pretty much a lot, right? But I do think that this is a, um, th this is perfection. Um, absolutely. This is, uh, this is a perfect movie, um, without flaw. Like how, how this film was delivered, um, is pro is definitely going to go to my top, my, my current top five, um, favorite movies of all time. And I don't. And this is not again. This is not something that would have I would have chased. Um, this is a complete pleasure to encounter. Uh, how the story was delivered, guys. This was such an intriguing event, um, excessively memorable in a way that I'm going to have to now probably rewatch this movie uh, indefinitely for the rest of my existence. Um, and those who have not seen this film needs to immediately um, understand how how screenplays can be put together without the the constant obsession that a lot of like videographers specifically have with uh, the equipment used, right? Coloring of, of things. This is a, this is the best example of a film that I can, um, like I, I can define. I, I, I just, <laughs> um, it didn't surprise me. Actually, how about this here? It absolutely surprised me that some of these individuals actually could changed their mind because again a lot of these individuals felt completely bigoted specifically two of them um one of them obviously at the end changed his mind specifically for still a selfish reason um you know he had issues with his kid uh, he also was someone that was very hands-on with his children right and so ooh, could my kid do this to me eventually or, or one day right type of thing um now without reasonable doubt Obviously, they would have just been guilty, but l luckily everyone else was able to kind of realize that or have the opinion that uh, the kid was innocent, bro. Um, every single, oh, I guess we can't even say that, right? <clears throat> every single thing could be broken down so easily, and that's that. What I th that's what I think is probably the scary part, right? Um, yeah, people's lives are generally at risk. Uh, for some of the most mundane things, guys, right? Don't get me wrong. I've, I've heard everyone in jail is innocent, right? So 
that's a that's a thing, right? Maybe this is a maybe this movie may have probably helped people believe that everyone is just innocent or, or in their heads they think that they're innocent but they're not. But um, I like the fact that these guys were able to sit down and have these conversations, these tough conversations to basically pick through every single aspect of it, guys. Um, I love this movie. I love it. I love it. Um, but all right, listen, guys, if you guys uh, do want to see the full length reaction, uh, it is on Patreon at the second tier. All right. And uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. <laughs>